Burlington High School Building Study. This initiative is a vital step towards ensuring that Burlington's high school campus meets the needs of students, teachers, and the entire community for years to come. In this video, we will explain exactly what this study will do, who is performing the work, give a tentative timeline of the project, and cover why the school is being studied for a building project. Future videos will go into more detail about particular stages or parts of the process to assist with project understanding. The existing high school was built in 1971. It contains 360,000 square feet, and current high school enrollment is around 900 students. In addition to the 100 plus classrooms and learning spaces, it also houses the school district central office, IT department, Burlington Early Childhood Center, Burlington Cable Access TV, and the Lab Collaborative offices, as well as several other uses. This current feasibility study process began in 2023, with approval by the town for the school building committee to begin the study. This is the next facilities phase of the Burlington Schools Educational Facilities Master Plan. The 60-year-old concrete construction school with minimal updates puts our students' educational environment in a severe disadvantage. There have been several focused studies on the mechanical systems and the building's lack of accessibility, highlighting many building deficiencies. Additionally, the New England Association of Schools and Colleges has reviewed the school and provided space recommendations to keep the school accredited by their organization. Health, safety, educational approach, indoor air quality, appropriate equipment and space, integration with the natural environment, and changes in student activities and behavior require the building to adapt. The school building committee has been charged with exploring educationally sound, environmentally sustainable, and fiscally responsible options, and creating a plan for school building improvement, whether it's in renovation, in addition renovation, or new construction. This is what the feasibility study will do. Undertaken with an architect and an owner's project manager, they guide the town through the school building design and construction process. In winter of 2023, the SBC selected Doran Whittier as the owner's project manager and Tape Architects as the architectural designer. Both firms have decades of public school design experience in Massachusetts, including Burlington and neighboring towns. This process is very similar to the Fox Hill School Project with the noted exclusion of the Massachusetts School Building Authority, who for 13 years has not chosen the high school as a state-funded project. So what are the steps of the feasibility study? Here's a roadmap to get a sense of where the project is currently, what's coming up, and how you can be informed and get involved. The first step is gathering existing conditions. This provides the design team with accurate measurements, systems, performance, and a baseline of what needs replacing, and what areas can be renovated or repurposed. At the same time, an educational plan and educational space programming template is created with the school and the district. This allocates all spaces in the building with current and future needs to determine deficiencies in the space, both in terms of square feet and educational appropriateness. The non-educational spaces and programs that are more community facing are also evaluated. This first step was completed in March and April of this year and helped inform the next step, educational visioning. The design team has partnered with New Vista Design to collaborate with members of the high school family, including a selection of staff, students, and parents to determine what Burlington High School's priorities should be in a building project. These preliminary sessions were completed in June, but don't worry, there is still plenty of opportunity for input and to make your voice heard. Having gathered and studied these items, the design team, along with district leadership, prepares preliminary concepts for review and approval. This report is called the PDP, or Preliminary Design Program. This is the current status of the Burlington High School Feasibility Study. This report provides a wide overview of all viable options, including renovation only, addition renovation, and new construction. It informs the SBC and district leadership of what's possible so as to work toward the best solution for Burlington. The next phase of the project is the preferred schematic report. This phase analyzes a short list of each type of option and concludes with a single recommended path forward for the high school. 
From here, the recommended option is further developed through the schematic design phase, where a robust design program is created with enough detail to establish a scope, a budget, and a schedule for the proposed project. And that is where the feasibility study ends, until the town and district decide to move forward with a construction project, which includes fully funding the total project budget established at the end of the feasibility study. So, how can you learn more and stay informed on the Burlington High School study? Just go to bhsbuildingproject.com. Here, you will find meeting notes, plans, reports, and images, as well as information on how to get involved. Such opportunities as attending our upcoming community listening session in September. The Burlington community is invited to The Green for an open conversation with the design team. This is just one of many chances to let your voice be heard about what matters to you regarding this high school project. Thank you.